we have a flexible exchange rate system. And given the magnitude of the decline in the oil prices, we've had a depreciation. That's natural. It's just a consequence of the change in terms of trade for us. And the markets have adjusted to it. In fact, we have continued to receive uh, very significant flows of portfolio investment to our local treasury market. We've continued to issue in the international market according to our needs. So the reaction of the markets has been favorable. They understand that Colombia has a solid macroeconomic framework, including a flexible exchange rate system. We are an economy that is um, very much dependent on the private sector. It's, it's the private sector that has the leading role in terms of investment, and therefore it's capital to the private sector that we cultivate, and we think it's fundamental. At this particular time, we are uh, in the middle of a massive road infrastructure program, which will be developed by the private sector. So it is the private sector that needs access to capital, either in the form of equity or debt, in international markets, to build these road projects. It's about $15 billion um, in needs, both from equity and debt. And that's what the concessionaires are looking for in the international markets. They're trying to reach the markets to get uh, the financing they need for these projects. Our main strategy here is uh, regional integration, especially with the Alliance of the Pacific, which is a group of countries that shares a common view, a common strategy, a common framework for its macroeconomic policies. And uh, we're hoping that our capital markets integrate more deeply, not just with integration of the stock market, but also integration of uh, fixed return instruments that can be traded in the stock markets integration of institutional investors and more harmonization between the tax systems so that we actually speak of the Pacific Alliance as a market, as one single market uh, for uh, financial transactions.